Hello, my name is Caitlin Casada, and my emphasis is in drawing, painting, and printmaking. I make floral-themed illustrations influenced by the temporary aspects of life. Using varying combinations of watercolor, colored pencil, and digital media, I depict female figures, garden imagery, and my own world of whimsy that investigate the ideas of existence and time. Azalee is a reoccurring character in my work. When I first designed her, I imagined an elegant gardener in an environment that is always in bloom. Named after the azalea plant, the abundance of flowers in these bushes are translated as an abundance of ruffles, lace, ribbon, and volume in her outfits. Often daydreaming, Azalee became an expression of my memory for experiencing the sight of flowers in bloom. I've always had an appreciation for flowers. They have an abstract quality to them where no matter how you draw them, it's always recognizable as a flower. Having lived in Las Vegas my entire life, I am drawn to pockets of greenery rather than neon lights. This manifests in my art as an interest for drawing organic shapes and curves. With that in mind, chrysanthemums are one of my favorite flowers. I find that the varieties of rounded petals that curl inwards to be the most interesting and delicate. Their petal shape is what inspired float and the following embroidery piece. Although my exploration of embroidery was brief, it allowed me to work with opacity in a more physical way and give me a new perspective on drawing. During an exploration of green flowers, I created this illustration of green hellebore. I was intrigued by the flower's color and form, designing them into the details of the dress and character. At the time of this piece, I was expanding my color palette, challenging myself to try something different. The organic shapes from natural objects echo in the design of the supernatural, the ghost pals. In this lithograph, a ghost peeks from behind the hand that keeps them. The hand melts. While curious for what is out there, the ghost is not concerned by the decay, because they know that soon, it'll also be time to go. As hinted by the previous piece, my work uses darker themes hidden behind whimsical characters. For example, the marshmallow pals depict a contrast between appearances and reality, finding themselves in some unfortunate situations. On the other hand, the ghost pals want to find a home and search for a sense of belonging. Unable to appear without being tied to an object, they usually emerge from candles or anything else that's candle-like. This ghost is giving life to houseplants. My favorite thing about the ghosts is that they take care of the flora around them. They're doing their best to make sense of the world, wanting to grow just as the plants do. These illustrations create a sense of calm and silence to distract from the looming arrival of an end, without describing what that end is. In fragments, I create an in-between memory. The full image is present, but difficult to take in with the textured background, pulling some of the line work back, similar to how memories are distorted by time and new events. The cloudy background reappears in parallel woven with repeating elements and an intertwining ribbon. The parallel shapes seem to be tangible but cannot be grasped. However, in this image, the flowers are clearer, representing new connections. Ribbons and decoration unite various ideas throughout my work. They connect imagery with my compositions, and I use them to create movement and flow in a way that mimics moving time. They depict a blend between memory and reality. Azalee's portrait captures a moment of calm thoughts in front of a fading background of azaleas. 
suggesting a moment that is not bound to the transience of time.